Sorry if I'm looking in the viewfinder a lot, I'm trying to make sure that a snake isn't falling off of my body. <laughs> Good morning reptilians welcome and welcome back to my channel so this week we are going to be talking about colubrids i recently hit 20,000 subscribers thank you guys so 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 much and i made a post about it and one of you guys actually asked if i could do a video on colubrids so here we are this video is going to talk all about why colubrids are the best and easiest pet snakes to start start out with. We're mostly going to focus on corn snakes because I have more experience with those and because they are one of the easiest to find so that makes them kind of even better for beginners. Also make sure to stay until the end of the video because like I said we just hit 20,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so 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 much. At the end of the video I will announce a giveaway and how to enter and what the prizes are going to be and all of that jazz so make sure you stay for that but anyways let's get started. We are going to be joined in this video by Wade here, who is a motley albino corn snake. You guys haven't seen him in a while, but here he is. He is four years old, so he is an adult, and we got him when he was one years old. Hopefully he doesn't poop on me because he tends to do that every time he's out of his cage. So fingers crossed we're in the clear. So first of all, let's talk about colubrids. Colubrids are a huge family of snakes that mostly are harmless. There are some that are mildly venomous but for the most part they are harmless. This family consists of things like corn snakes and garter snakes and king snakes and hog noses, grass snakes, vine snakes, all of those sorts of things. They are very easy to find. That is one of the big reasons why I think that they are a wonderful beginner snake because you're gonna find them in a lot of different places. Basically all chain pet stores are gonna have them even though that's not my favorite. Reptile shows always have all different kinds local family-owned pet stores are gonna have them you're gonna find a lot of breeders of them places that will sell them online they also can be pretty cheap this guy was a hundred dollars because he is a special morph but I have seen them for 40 and 50 dollars at most reptile shows so the price is very much affordable make sure you are getting captive bred animals though because I know here where I'm from things like garter snakes are very common we literally saw one a couple months back at my parents house so make sure you're not getting one that someone just caught in their backyard because they're not going to be as healthy and they're probably going to have parasites. Let's talk about the care of these guys. Again, there are so many different types of colubrids out there. So the care from animal to animal is going to be different, but we are going to focus on this corn snake here. Care for him is the easiest of all the snakes in my house. His hot spot doesn't have to be very hot at all, about 80 to 85 degrees, and he is good to go. They also need a dry environment. Too much humidity will cause respiratory infections in these guys so keeping them on things like aspen is perfect and he sheds perfectly every single time which is so good and there is a multitude of different sizes of colubrids there are quite a few that are going to need smaller tanks in the united states here the bare minimum size requirement for a corn snake is 20 gallon longs which isn't big at all i think that's a bit too small i do think that a 40 gallon breeder is better for them especially because they are so incredibly accurate as you see here but they don't take up an insane amount of space especially not when compared to things like reticulated pythons and burmese pythons red-tailed boas things like that but yeah i can't really go into too many specifics about their care because there are so many of them but for the most part their care is going to be pretty easy if you watched my top 10 easiest snakes for beginners video from a while back you would see that there's a lot of colubrids on that list for that reason but if you are looking to get a specific snake make sure to research and figure out how to provide the best possible care for that snake and feeding them is also super easy. These guys do have a very good feeding response and this is one of the huge reasons that I actually think that they are a lot easier than ball pythons. As many of you guys know, ball pythons will go on feeding strikes, on hunger strikes, where they just flat out will not eat for sometimes months at a time. And that's not really something that you have to worry about as much with these guys. This one is a little special, I guess, because he is kind of picky. He will not 
not eat the size rodents that he's supposed to eat. So instead he prefers to smaller ones. But for the most part, colubrids aren't going to be picky and that's going to make them so easy and so much less stressful than something like a ball python is. And this goes for most of the more common kept colubrids. They are going to be good on an appropriately sized rodent every week to two weeks, depending how old they are. When you get into things like garter snakes, those kinds of snakes can eat more than just rodents. Garter snakes actually have to be fed a varied diet, so that does make them a little more difficult, but their feeding response is so good that you don't have to worry again about them just not eating, which is awesome. Handleability. Handleability of these guys is fun. Ball pythons, one thing with them is as you are handling them, they just sit there. They don't really move as much as these guys. If you've noticed, he has not stopped moving. They are a little on the skinnier side. It is, to me, a little less comfortable to handle them just because they feel more fragile, but they are going to keep going. If you put them on the floor, they're going to go and go and go. And where are you going now? So if you put them on the floor, they're going to go and go and go and go. That is why my hair is crazy because I'm constantly readjusting to make sure that he doesn't fall off of me because he does not stop moving. So if you are wanting a snake that is more fun to handle, then colubrids are definitely going to be a much better bet than ball pythons. And if you are looking for something smaller than these guys, are gonna be your guys, especially the corn snake here. And honestly, that's about all that I have for colubrids. They're super easy. And in my opinion, they're definitely going to be some of the easiest reptiles to get and definitely the easiest snakes to get, especially if you are just starting out and wanting something pretty and fun and that actually moves around, then maybe look towards the colubrid family like corn snakes, garter snakes, king snakes, instead of the typical ball pythons. On to what most of you guys have probably been waiting for, and that is the giveaway. Again, thank you guys so much for 20,000 subscribers. That is crazy. There's a lot of people here and that blows me away. Thank you guys so much. It's so crazy to me that you guys just like want to come hang out with me and watch me. I know I say it every single time, but it's true. It just still shocks me that you guys want to see videos of me. That's wonderful. Thank you guys so 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 much for that and in celebration of this i wanted to do a giveaway there are going to be three winners and those winners will be selected from the comment section below on this video super easy to enter all i want you to do is comment below and let me know what you guys want to see from my channel in the future. Or if you don't have any ideas of what you would like to see, just let me know what your favorite thing that you've seen me do on this channel is. Make sure that you put that in your comment. I use a random comment generator to pick the winners. And if it picks someone that doesn't answer the question, then I have to move on to the next person and it makes me feel bad and I'm so sorry. <laughs> but make sure you do that. What you want to see in the future or what your favorite thing that you have seen on this channel has been. What do those winners win? The first name drawn will win a $50 gift card to your choice of joshesfrogs.com, Petco, or PetSmart, wherever you want. I will send a $50 gift card to your house. The other two winners will win goodie boxes full of reptile things. In those boxes, there will be... Nope, 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 nope. Your face doesn't fit there. In each box, there will be a gecko ledge from iHeartGeckos. There will be either a reptilian sticker or a Zazz sticker. There will be a fake plant. These are the plants that I use in basically all of my tanks. And there will also be a fake vine, because you guys know I love enrichment, so I wanted to add some enrichment in there. A lizard soap and a signed activity book, courtesy of Lizard Guru. Nope.
anyway, a Lizard Soap and signed activity book from Lizard Guru here on YouTube. She is super awesome and asked if I wanted her to send me some things to give away to you guys. She is one of my very good friends. Definitely make sure to go check her stuff out. And I will also put a handwritten note in there for you guys. So a fake plant and fake vine for enrichment, gecko ledge, lizard soap, bearded dragon activity book, sticker, and a handwritten note. And this will go until next Thursday, which is my recording days. And that is when I will pick the winner and they will be announced next Sunday. I also wanted to talk to you guys really quick about new merch. My husband has been designing some merch ideas for new things on Instagram. If you follow me over there, you've seen some of the pictures that he has drawn for that. And I wanted to ask you guys what you want to see as merch in the future, what you would like to see on a shirt or what kind of merch you would like to see. Let me know because we are working on new things and I wanted to get your opinion to see what it is that you guys want because you guys are the ones buying it. And I think that is it for this video. If you are not already, please feel free to follow me on my other socials and like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications every single time I put out a new video, which is every Sunday. Huge thank yous and shout outs to Ray and ZJ's mommy for following me on Instagram. She also sent me a super sweet message about how her kids found me and they subscribed to me and it was super sweet. So I wanted to give them huge shout outs too. So thank you to Rachel and ZJ for following me on Instagram and going through and liking a whole lot of stuff. Thank you guys so much. You are the bee's knees. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye. Nice and pretty today. Oh, hello. This is going to be in a nightmare adventure. Okay. All pythons and that is that I think he's pooping on me. Come on. Go around. Very pretty. Ah, and there you go. Pulling my hair. You are in my hair. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll just sit awkwardly. <laughs> Sit at an angle like a tree. I am sweating, it is hot, but I have to wear a long sleeve because I'm covered in poison ivy.